Oh, that was a mush. <laughs> there, that one goes. So it's inconsistent. So you know, it didn't go there, but I just touched this one really light. Wow. Whoa. Very... There it goes. Two. Oh. So that was on fire. Two. Ah, oh, wow. It's gained a lot of strength. That, that was number four on our one before. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Fifteen. Fifteen. Twenty-four down there. Twenty-two. Fifteen. What we have here, there's all the new snow. All this fell. There's some grapple here that fell as the start of the new storm, which is typical with the cold fronts. But down here, we have all the faceted, the sugary snow. That was on the ground for left over from October, it rotted into this rotten snow. You can just shove your arm into it. This old snow only exists on the more northerly facing slopes, the ones that face that northern quadrant of the compass. So northwest, north, and northeast facing slopes. Some of the east facing slopes, but that primarily is that northern quadrant of the compass. Uh, otherwise, this doesn't exist, and so all you're dealing with is the new snow, which is quite stable. So all the south-facing slopes are, are are quite stable right now, but it's just those northerly ones that we're worried about. It's still propagating a fracture, so that means that it can still produce avalanches. I'm still going to watch my slope angles, staying on 30 degrees or less, or if I go over 30 degrees, I'm going to be on a short little test slope or something with not Based on what I saw here, I'm not going to be pushing some angles uh, in the 35 range. It's not worth it, especially with the shallow snowpack. And even though our depth hoar is, what, uh, four to six inches, knowing what we knew last weekend and how reactive it was, and now it's a little more pockety, but there's still going to be avalanches happening out there, and we've got to make good decisions.